What is logistic regression, and how does it differ from linear regression? Logistic regression is a statistical technique used to model the relationship between a binary response variable and one or more predictor variables. In contrast to linear regression, which models a continuous response variable, logistic regression models the probability of the response variable taking one of two possible values. The output of logistic regression is a probability value that ranges from 0 to 1, which can be interpreted as the likelihood of the event occurring. What assumptions does logistic regression make? Logistic regression assumes that the relationship between the predictors and the response variable is linear on the logit scale, that the observations are independent, and that the variance of the error term is constant. It also assumes that there is no multicollinearity among the predictor variables and that there is a large enough sample size to produce reliable estimates. How do you interpret the coefficients in logistic regression? The coefficients in logistic regression represent the change in the log odds of the response variable for a one-unit increase in the corresponding predictor variable, holding all other variables constant. To interpret the coefficients, we can exponentiate them to obtain the odds ratio, which represents the change in odds of the response variable for a one-unit increase in the predictor variable. How do you assess the performance of a logistic regression model? There are several ways to assess the performance of a logistic regression model, including measures of overall fit, such as the deviance and the Akaika information criterion, measures of discrimination, such as the area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, and measures of calibration, such as the hosmer lemeshow goodness of fit test. How do you deal with overfitting in logistic regression? Overfitting can occur when a logistic regression model is too complex and it fits the training data too closely, resulting in poor generalization to new data. To prevent overfitting, one can use regularization techniques, such as L1 or L2 regularization, which penalize large coefficients and encourage simpler models. Another approach is to use cross-validation to evaluate the model's performance on a holdout set of data and to select the model with the best performance. How do you handle missing data in logistic regression? Missing data can be handled in logistic regression using various imputation methods such as mean imputation, regression imputation, or multiple imputation. However, it's important to ensure that the imputation method used is appropriate for the type of missing data and that any assumptions made are reasonable. How do you select the variables to include in a logistic regression model? Variable selection for logistic regression can be done using various methods, such as forward selection, backward elimination, or stepwise regression. It's important to choose a method that is appropriate for the data and that the chosen variables are relevant to the research question. How do you deal with multicollinearity in logistic regression? Multicollinearity can be a problem in logistic regression when the predictor variables are highly correlated with each other. This can cause the coefficients of the predictor variables to be unstable and difficult to interpret. One approach to dealing with multicollinearity is to use regularization methods such as ridge regression or lasso regression. Another approach is to combine correlated variables into a single variable or to remove one of the correlated variables from the model. How do you interpret the odds ratio in logistic regression? The odds ratio in logistic regression represents the change in odds of the response variable associated with a one-unit increase in the predictor variable. An odds ratio greater than 1 indicates that an increase in the predictor variable is associated with an increase in the odds of the response variable, while an odds ratio less than 1 indicates that an increase in the predictor variable is associated with a decrease in the odds of the response variable. How do you assess the goodness of fit of a logistic regression model? 
The goodness of fit of a logistic regression model can be assessed using various methods, such as the hosmer lemeshow test, the Pearson chi-square test, or the deviance goodness of fit test. These tests evaluate how well the model fits the observed data and whether there is a significant difference between the predicted and observed values. A significant difference may indicate that the model needs to be improved or that there is a problem with the data.